Elon Musk just made a bold move. Grok's new video and audio generation tool is now reportedly free for everyone. Headlines are buzzing about Grok Imagine, a new rival to OpenAI's Sora 2. Musk claims the new model creates a video from text in under 15 seconds. I was pretty skeptical, but it blew my mind. When I discovered the stunning photorealistic videos generated by Grok, featuring perfectly synchronized audio. Even more intriguing is the controversial spicy mode, which promises a level of creative freedom that other platforms won't touch. So is this the tool that finally changes the game or is it just another wave of AI hype? Let's dig in and find out. The promise of Grok Imagine is huge. For years, powerful AI video tools have been expensive, restricted, and slow. Now, the claim is that we have a lightning fast, free, and unlimited option. In this video, we're going to put these claims to the test. We'll investigate what free actually means. I'll walk you through exactly how to use the new video features, test the spicy mode freedom limits, and then we'll deliver a final verdict on whether this is a true Sora 2 killer or just a lot of noise. First things first, let's talk about that free for all users claim. Officially, Grok operates on a freemium model. This means that while the tool is available to everyone, the truly powerful features and higher usage caps are reserved for paying subscribers of X Premium Plus, or the Super Grok plans. These subscriptions promise far more renderings per day and priority access to the best models. However, in practice, many free users have found the limits to be quite generous, at least for now. During my own testing on a free Grok account, I was able to generate many images and videos before hitting a hard daily limit. So while unlimited might be a stretch in the long run, the free tier is surprisingly robust right now. Now for the fun part, making a video. You can access the video generation feature right inside the Grok app. First, you'll find the Imagine tab. The interface is clean and simple. It shows a collection of generated images and a text prompt box at the bottom. You can write a prompt to generate an image or select one image from the collection. Let's try a prompt. Black t-shirt with a graphic of a fierce warrior and the text warrior on the back laid flat on a textured surface. It generates the image quite fast and it keeps generating more images, many images. In my opinion, the quality is okay and the text, which most image models are still struggling to generate, is correct and well positioned. Now you can choose one of the images and generate a video. The options are custom, spicy, fun, and normal. Let's choose custom and insert the prompt. The druid emerges from the shirt, transforming from black and white to full color photorealism and casts a cataclysmic thunderstorm with massive lightning and tornadoes. We click to generate and Grok gets to work. The claim of generating video in under 15 seconds is not legit, but it is incredibly fast. In moments, you get back with the video. This speed is powered by what XAI calls the Aurora engine which also makes synchronized audio possible from background noise to character speech. The overall video quality is good. Maybe not as good as Google VO3 or OpenAI Sora 2, but not that far. By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future guides. So how does the final output stack up? Here are the big takeaways. First, the good. Speed is its superpower. The ability to generate video clips in seconds is a massive advantage. Compared to the long minutes you might wait on other platforms, this is a huge deal for creators who need to work fast. Next, the spicy mode. The creative freedom is real? Grok is known for having fewer content restrictions than its competitors, and that extends to video. Its spicy mode can create content that other AI platforms would block, it can offer more creative latitude but also opens the door to controversy over things like deepfakes. Let's try the spicy mode. First, let's create an image with a simple prompt. Sexy woman in bikini waiting in her house. It's quite fast and again, generates some variations. Well, what can I say? Well done, Grok. Now we select the spicy mode and see what it does. When you select a mode other than custom, you don't have the option to write a prompt. So it takes about 30 seconds, which is fast, and the result? Not bad at all. Finally, the bad news. It's is not quite a Sora 2 killer yet. 
When you put the output side by side with videos from OpenAI's Sora 2 or Google's VO3, you can see a clear difference in quality. Sora 2 and VO are aiming for stunning realism and longer, more coherent scenes. Grok Imagine is fantastic for short, six-second clips perfect for social media, but it can struggle with complex physics and true photorealism. It feels less like a cinematic tool and more like a rapid idea generator. So, is Grok Imagine the revolution it claims to be? The free plan is fair and transparent. Although each video is capped at six seconds, you'll find the free capacity to generate videos is extremely generous. However, it absolutely delivers on its promise of speed, with a workflow that can take you from an idea to a finished clip in seconds. It's not going to replace Sora 2 for high-end, realistic video production. But for social media creators, meme makers, and anyone who values speed and creative freedom, Grok Imagine is a powerful and genuinely disruptive new tool. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think of these new AI capabilities? Is Grok Speed a game changer for your workflow? What about the spicy mode? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.